Hey everybody, I am making eggnog cream cheese butter bites or fat bombs. Oh yeah, man. Now, in the beginning of September or end of August, I made the pumpkin caramel, the pumpkin spice caramel cheese bites that were heavenly. Oh yeah. Now, you can take the gingerbread, you can take the eggnog, you can take the snickerdoodle, you can take the pumpkin spice caramel and make this recipe so darn easy. Okay? And you can just change out this one little spice to make it different. This is nutmeg for eggnog, snickerdoodle, add cinnamon for uh, pumpkin spice caramel, use pumpkin spice. So it's gonna be super easy, super simple. You can change out the keto chow flavors and make these delicious bites. Man, are you gonna be popular. So anyway, you guys, let's get started. I have got two frozen, you don't have to have them frozen. These ones are, so they're gonna take a little longer to melt in the pan. But just take two unsalted sweet butter for a total of eight ounces. That's what you need. Just turn on your pan because we're gonna brown this butter. The trick to this whole thing is to get your butter nice and brown without burning it. And if you guys saw my video about the pumpkin uh, car caramel spice ones, Harry will insert that at the end, you guys, because they were absolutely heavenly, weren't they, Harry? Yep. They were so good, so good. So what this, this particular process with browning the butter takes about 15 to 20 minutes. It really does in order to get your butter truly browned. So just get a pan with a lot of surface on it because you want the butter fats to brown in the bottom of your pan. As you melt your butter, it's gonna separate into a ghee, which is the top. Your butter solids and fats will float to the bottom, which is the part that is going to brown super, super good. So you guys, basically, come back here while that's browning. You're going to need eight ounces of unsweetened, see I say unsweetened, and I mean unsalted, unsalted sweet butter eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese or the cream cheese of your choice. You're gonna need ground nutmeg for the eggnog. I like using English toffee better stevia. You can use your liquid sweetener of your choice. I like the toffee flavor that it gives to the eggnog. And you're gonna need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is homemade, this was gifted to me, and I'm so excited about being able to have it and use it. So that is what you're going to need, and patience, because, oh, and a pinch of salt. Keto Chow products have salt in them. They have electrolytes in them, so this is a little bit salty. So I want to taste my batter and put a pinch of salt in at the end. I feel that especially Kerrygold butter, which is very salty, is too salty for my sweet um, butter bites that I make. Um, the plain butter bites, it's awesome with, and the English toffee ones that I make are awesome with it because you want that salted caramel, but for these, just put a pinch of salt in at the end, and you'll be glad you did. Anyway, you guys, that's what you're gonna need for right now. We're gonna get this butter melted. We're gonna get it browned. Then we're gonna put it into this little bowl and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator until it coagulates and starts to firm up a little bit because then we're gonna come back to part two. So first we're gonna brown the butter, put it in the bowl, cool it off, put it in the refrigerator. So let's take a look at this butter. You don't need to babysit the butter in the beginning. Once the butter gets melted down, you're going to turn it on uh, medium low heat because you want it just to cook. You don't need to stand and stir the heck out of it, but you do want to keep an eyeball out on it because once it starts turning brown, then you want to start really watching it and stirring it and checking it because it can go from that dark chocolate brown that we want to black and burnt. 
very, very, very easily. So, but before then, we're gonna drop it down, drop the temp down, and let it go through all the phases that it's gonna need to go through in order to brown and be delicious and caramelize. Did you guys know that the basic two ingredients for making caramel candy is heavy whipping cream and sugar? All they do is brown that heavy cream and thicken it up. So butter is the byproduct of cream. When you beat and beat and beat it, you take it takes the whey and the liquids out and you pour it out. So that's why you get that caramelization that you get from heavy cream in your butter. So just, just a quick little tidbit tip. I've been browning my butter forever since I was little. My mom always browned our butter for our eggs. You guys have heard me tell you for years, every time I cook the eggs, brown the butter. Well, that's how we've always ate. That's how I love Long cooking it. Remember. And then I watched uh, Judy at uh, Natural Path, her little channel, and she showed brown butter frozen fat bombs and I thought why haven't I been doing that since I've been browning butter forever and then I made those um, pumpkin spice caramel cheese bites and regular toffee oh, cheese man. bites and every other kind of brown butter bite since then and then we got on the BBBE diet and I couldn't make any and I did make yeah. plain just plain browned butter bites in uh, September for us and uh, we had that for the BBBE diet because all it was was uh, browned butter. So you guys, I've been waiting, waiting to make this because I made it and I didn't film it in August, didn't I, Harry? Right. August, it was August. Well, in September we did BBBE, so it had to have been August. Anyway, round thereabouts. So I am bringing it back because it is so good. If you guys like eggnog, trust God, me. Do you smell that right now? Now, it smells like butter. It's not going to smell like popcorn room, for a man. while. Come over here and look. I just turned my temperature down to s between 4 and 6. I just want it to sit here and just cook. And it's going to take about 15 minutes, you guys. Don't rush this project, this process, because you will burn your butter. It's real easy to do if you turn it up too high before it's ready. Anyway, Harry, come back. When we get closer to having brown butter, what happens is, is all of a sudden it will smell like popcorn. Just as it starts turning golden, you will smell popcorn, kettle caramel corn. You will get this aromatic, delicious smell that changes from the frying butter right now that you smell to that rich aroma. And then you wanna really check your butter. So come back here when we get brown butter. The whiter, sur the whiter surface you have of your pan, the quicker it's going to be able to brown. If you look at it, we just smelled it. It's just starting to turn golden. C come look at it, Harry. See it? Yep. But I want it to get brown like a chocolate color. How long does it usually take? Depends on your pan. If you have a really wide surface, it's quicker. If you have a deeper and you're but and you're doing more butter, because you can do more, yeah. it'll take longer. But at medium, at medium. Okay. <coughs> I it? am turning off the heat. Yes. See how caramel chocolate brown that is, you guys? I'm gonna put it in this Pyrex, it is heat resistant bowl that I'm gonna pour it into. I'm gonna move everything. Yep. See how gold. Look at, no, chocolate brown. Okay. That's exactly, exactly the color I want. It's not burnt. It did not smoke. It does not smoke. It does not smell burnt. It is delicious, dark, chocolate browned butter. Now, I'm gonna let this sit all out, and then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, but look at this. It's the color of coffee. Yeah, it is. It's the color of coffee. 
As soon as that cools down for about 10 minutes, then I'm gonna put it in my refrigerator and then I'm gonna let it get um, more solid so we can actually whip it. I put it in the glass bowl. I'm actually gonna put it in here because I'm gonna be beating it and I don't wanna beat in this glass. Well, do you think this glass? No, I'm worried about the glass bowl, you guys. So I am putting it in to the bowl. I'm actually gonna beat it in. See all the milk solids right here? And that's why I'm beating it because it will blend the milk solids, which are heavier than the ghee portion. And that way they won't um, be separated when we're done. So that's what I'm doing. And you guys come back for the second part after we have cooled off butter. Now I bought new molds and I wanna see how much each mold holds. So I'm doing a water test. I got these darling skull. Look at the pirates and the skulls. They're so cute. Yeah. And I got like a Reese's Pieces size, right? Cup. Yeah. So I have water and I have a tablespoon. And I'm thinking they're both tablespoon size. So I fill that one up. Yep, right to the top, a, a tablespoon. Take this, go right to the top, it's a tablespoon. Oh, so all the these, oh, all of these are a tablespoon. Super easy. If you have any of the other ones, like my small ones, the small ones that I have, you would measure those as well ahead of time with water so you know how many each one holds. So when you grab one, you know you've had a tablespoon, two tablespoons, etc. Now I will put my recipe uh, I will populate everything that I'm putting in here into Card Manager. I will create my recipe. I will put it in and based on how many of these cups I fill total, I will put down how many total tablespoons that is. And then I will put one serving in. It will give me the total uh, carbs, fat, and protein per serving per one piece, which is one tablespoon. So I'm very excited about that. It's super easy, super simple, and that's why I like Carb Manager. Yes, indeed. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna empty these out, and I just wanted to share that with you. I get these ready. I'm not sure how many will get filled, but I like to trowel this on because it's really thick. It's just easy to do that way. I know what's in there. So I'll share that in the next segment. Okay, you guys, my butter is cooled down, and because I'm adding other things, this should be fine. So we're gonna add some things. First of all, we are gonna add, I love this measuring, this was a gift, and you guys, I love this thing. Look, it is a smidgen, a nip, a dash, and a pinch. So I'm gonna put a pinch of salt in my butter. Remember, we used unsalted butter, so I'm going to put just... The salt a, container was a gift, too. This, yes, it was, and I love it. I use it every day. So I'm going to put that in. I am going to put half, half a teaspoon of nutmeg in. A little ground nutmeg. You can do more or less to your taste. I love herbs and spices. So I'm just going to sprinkle that in. Oh, that smells, that smells like Christmas. Mm -hmm. Mm, smells like Christmas, yes indeed. Now I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of my homemade vanilla. Oh, that was a gift too. It was a gift. It took, I believe, 18 months to make. I'm so yeah. excited about this, it's so delicious. So I just put that in my butter. And then I am using, and you use the sugar of your choice, I'm using Better Stevia English Toffee. I'm using a, a teaspoon. We like our sweet, and I love the butter toffee, English toffee taste that this gives, this butter. Okay. Now, let me get this. It's kind of spooning it out with the little tip. There we go. Let me put this here and then just stir this up you guys the butter doesn't have to be solid yet because we're going to put keto chow which is a powder and we're going to put in the um cream cheese which is going to make this a thicker enough that you can whip it so i'm taking my uh, softened 
Philadelphia cream cheese and putting this whole brick in, the whole block. Try the other end. that in there. Get all this good stuff out. Fold this up and set it aside. Let's break it up because we're going to whip it together. So I just like to break it up a little bit so it doesn't stick so much to the blades. Just chop it with your um, spatula or spoon, whichever you prefer to use. The tongue. The tongue, Harry calls it. The tongue. Yes, indeed. See how it's thickening up already? Yes, it is. Now for the pile la resistance. And I'm telling you guys, the um, you can use the gingerbread. You can use the um, salted caramel. You can use the peanut butter. You can use the chocolate. You can use the pumpkin caramel spice. And just change out this little spice. Change it out for cinnamon. Change it out for cardamom. Change it out for um, um, any spice you want, right? Or flavoring. Get it all in there and just give it a quick little mush around because you don't want the powder going all over the place, right? Look how brown, you guys, the brown butter. Mm-mm-mm. mm, -mm. mm, -mm, -mm. I'm so excited about this. Just mash it up a little bit. Wipe your, mm, gosh, that smells good. Yeah, can you smell that great. butter? And the, I can smell the nutmeg. I can smell it all. Oh my gosh, this is heaven. And you guys could even fill a pie tin with this. You could make your keto crust, pour this into your pie, put it in the refrigerator, and bring it out at Thanksgiving, at Christmas, at any gala that you have, and put fresh whipped cream, a little nutmeg on top, and Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. I would get macadamia nuts. I would crush them. I'd put warm butter on that. Cinnamon, brown sugar. Make a crust. Refrigerate it. Put this in it. Oh, man. Oh, that would be good. Okay. Well, I know what Wendy's going to make. Here we go. Yeah. You guys stay tuned. I'm telling you. And then you just whip it. Da, 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 da. I'm stopping it because I want to taste it to see if it is got everything that I want in it as far as taste is concerned, and that includes salt. Um, that is heaven. I am telling you, no one in the crowd that likes eggnog is going to say, that's keto, that's diet. We're having that. Are you sure? Really? Because it is so darn good. Okay, Harry, get over here. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. That's, that's a, better than the first that's one. That's a I made. fat bomb. That is a fat bomb. Yes, that's Christmas right there. That is Christmas. Yes. Wow. That is heaven, you guys. That is heaven. I should so say Christmas just take your time, beaters. right? Yes. Oh, look, Harry. Good, good, I get. Oops. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Gimme, give gimme. Give we'll be back after we lick our beater. Mmm. Okay, hey guys, because I've measured this, I'm troweling it in. I know that it. every single one of these is a um, tablespoon. So I'm putting it in the middle. I've got a, oops, I'm glad I did that. Uh -huh. Sure you did. Um, because accidents happen. Okay, let's try this again. I'm glad 
So you take a little uh, pastry, I call it a trowel, and you just start filling the holes. Remember the one my mom had? It had a ring on the side. Your bowl? I the have bowl, your so mom's she, bowl. Chalice and I both have some of your mom's bowls. She might bowls. have the one with the ring then. Because she probably you does. put your finger through the ring mm -hmm. and you hold the bowl. Was that what she did? Yeah. It's funny what you remember as a kid. Is that when she was making your cake? Because everything, all that bowl was made for making all the icings in. Yeah. That's why I said the cakes. You guys can double batch this triple batch this the thing is is the butter you want to make sure you have a pan that you can absolutely melt that butter in look at how nicely that just trowels right off you guys we're going to put this in the refrigerator while we do while we trowel the rest in and of course being the cook the chef i get to do the fine cleaning but isn't that cute that's going to be great i'm going to put this in the refrigerator real quick while i'm troweling in now i've got the little reese's pieces little cup right quest cups excuse me quest peanut butter cups right yeah. here and you guys could even do that you could make one layer of peanut butter or a nut butter right and then you could put this you could make chocolate Oh, oh yeah, that'd be good. Anyway, just trowel it in. There you go, there's that one. Looks pretty good to me. Don't let that flip. Go around the edges just so it's not falling off. Mm. Okay, you guys. We'll come back when they're frozen and we're popping them out of the bag. These now can all go in your freezer. Yes, they can. But you don't only need to leave them in for about 15, 20 minutes until they get firm enough that we can pop them out and put them all in a bag. So we'll come back for the next segment. Something I forgot to do, I forgot to dust and I, did, I came back after Harry was done, I dusted the top with nutmeg because whatever flavor you make, I think it's really nice to just put a little dusting on. So I came back and did that. You guys didn't see that part, but I just put a little bit of nutmeg on here. Now these have been in for 20 minutes in the freezer and it's time just to pop them out. Just pop them out of your molds. Oops. I was wondering if these guys would get um, in the face, you know, like really good. Oh, I've got to really smash them in, you know. Well, I tried, but... Oh, that's a cool one. Look, there he is. Oh, yeah. He's had a... Oh, there he is, too. That's a good one, too. You can't really see because it's... Look at those are cute. Those are cute. Anyway, you guys, you just, just take them out. Put them in a bag or a sack or a container. Look at those, you guys. How cute are those? Put all these here. The trick is not to handle them too much because your body heat will start to melt them. So they are, uh, oh, remember, butter. they're butter. Oh, look at that. Look at him. Look. Oh, yeah, he came out good. He came out good. He came out good. Actually, they all came out really good. Uh, uh, skeletons. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. He came out really good. You just can't see him. You probably could use dye. Look at him. Yeah. They came out really Change. good. It's too bad you can't see him that well, you know? Yeah. Let's do these cups. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And I'm saying this would make a, the best no-bake pie ever, wouldn't it, Harry? Yep. Just put some whipped cream, put it on a frosting. You know, if you can do almonds, which I can't, you can make yourself your almond crust. I can't, so I'm thinking macadamia, pecan, uh, coconut, any of those things.
Look, Harry. One for us to try. Oh, cool. So I want to share that with everybody. Look at that. It's a beautiful little cup. Let's see from the side, see how it looks. Oh, yeah. Well, these are so good. I'm telling you. Caramely. Smooth. They've got a bite and feel of caramel the longer they're in the refrigerator. Eggnog, cream cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Man. If you make a pie, cut it thinly because these are rich oh, and yeah. delicious. So Harriet, it's your turn. Yes. How do I look? Mm -hmm. What was that? I don't know. That was weird. Mm -hmm. The glass oh. lens of your glasses and your ones you have to see out of. Oh my gosh. I'll fix it. I can fix it. I got glue. Walmart. I, I got paid. glue. Okay. Smell. Smack. <laughs> Ooh, well, that smells kind of neat. It's what is the allspice. The allspice and eggnog. Mm. <laughs> Aren't they good? Yeah. Those they are, are so really good. good. Mm. Oh my god. If you love Gosh. eggnog, otherwise use the pumpkin caramel spice. Use the salted caramel. Use the Irish cream. Mm. Isn't that delicious? Mm. Right there is the napkin. No, no, no. No, no, no. Come on. I'm over here. I'm watching you go mm. towards your pants with your hands. Okay, you guys, take a look at these. These are so cute. Peruse these right here. Look at these. These are so, can you see the faces on them, Harry? Because they really, really came out. Let me see. Got little skulls. Hey, get over here. Can you see that? The little skulls down below yeah, right I here? Think so. I think this you little see, skull yeah. guy. Hard for me to tell. I'm looking, looking at a two inch screen. Look. I think I'm getting close. Yeah. Here, here's a real good one. He's just a naked little skeleton. Yeah, he's cool. Except you can't hold it in front of your face because... I know. Okay, you guys. There you go. There you have it. Eggnog. Cream cheese. Brown butter. Bites. Heaven. Yes, indeed. Indeed.